Hello friends, welcome you all once again. This is Protein Rava here, a civil project engineer. So today we will see practical application of flat and chamfer. This is our two uh, topics for today's video. All right. So I hope all of you know how to use a basic AutoCAD. Okay. So today I will show you how these two commands, chamfer and fillet, is uh, is used in our drawings okay or where can, where can you see these uh, you know commands i mean application in practical field where this command is used okay so that's what we are going to see today all right so the first topic that we will discuss today is chamfer and then next we will move on to fillet okay so Please, this is a very important, uh, you know, uh, video. I'm so I'm, I'm going to show you the real application of these two commands. So please stay tuned with me and watch the video till the end. Okay. <clears throat> and at the last, if you like my videos, then please do share and like and comments down below, and then subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet. Okay. So without any further delay, let us dive into the main topics. Now before proceeding ahead to the first command, chamfer, let me show you these photos, okay? Look at these photos carefully. What is this? This is a culvert or aqueduct, you can say, okay? You can say aqueduct or culvert, all right? So this one also, aqueduct or culvert all right so now can you see these edges here in this culvert okay let me take uh, let me point it out okay yeah this one can you see these edges yeah this one okay here also in this picture here okay uh one second let me yeah this one here and this one this one okay you can see here okay, let me clear it so this is known as what we call chamfer okay the, i mean this kind of shapes we can design or we can uh, draw with chamfer command okay in practical this this uh, this one this edge uh, okay this edge okay once again it is coming to be a uh, square i mean it's square this edges okay in practical the name of these edges is known as horns okay this is known as horns so it goes like this all right this is known as horns and this kind of drawing if you want to draw in autocad for any kind of structure uh, sorry, construction uh, drawing then you have you can draw with this chamfer command okay now let us see how to draw this one all right the same like this same like this one so first of all let us take a rectangular or a square of any size okay just randomly for our demonstration, I will uh, uh, take any size of rectangle, either rectangle or uh, square, okay? So, to draw a square or rectangle, okay, you can directly go from this menu also, or you can type from your keyboard, REC, then enter, okay? So, just draw randomly of any size, okay? Somewhat like this, okay? Now, what you have to do is that you you draw you draw a same rectangle by you know uh, what we call offset command all right offset command you can use you can give any distance i am not uh, you know teaching you about offset command today so i will just you know uh, take roughly once again yeah now I will just take roughly any 
I mean uh, distance okay to the this offset now this interface okay this interface you can make like this okay with like this uh, with chamfer command okay let us see how do we do that now for chamfer uh, commands there is a shortcut okay so you can uh, take that one either you can go here this fillet chamfer these two commands are there or else you can type cha okay shortcut command for you know uh, chamfer okay enter it now if you know the angle or how much you want to give the angle okay this one may be 30 45 40 60 okay but generally it it is uh, in practice 45 degree and then autocad also you know uh, gives you an uh, what we call recommended angle as 45 degree you can see here can you see here just at this mouse button and uh, you know encircling this one this is 45 angle okay this is default angle and then this distance default length of chamfer is 300 units okay so we won't give any angle or any uh, distance whatever autocad gives us we will use that one only just for our demonstration purpose okay in practical what how much you need you can give that much angle or length of chamfer okay now at, at this four corner all right at this four corner you need to draw uh chamfer right let me point it out here yeah this one and then this one and then this one and then this one okay at this four corner you need to draw chamfer all right now let us uh, do it cha chamfer and then without uh, the, the with default angle and then distance let us click first here to the first line and then to this line all right sorry here i think i haven't selected i have selected the not rim so that's why it's coming okay let us give cha and trim. Ah, trim okay now click here click here okay see the first chamfer okay the first drawing we have created somewhat like this all right something like this okay now to draw uh, to draw this fillet again to use this fillet uh, sorry chamfer uh, command just enter again by pressing your spacebar or by pressing enter key then click here again okay and then enter again click here click here enter again click here and then click here see this is the same exact shape drawing that we got as of this drawing uh, sorry culvert okay so this is how we do it now here we have selected one by one okay to make this uh, what we call this fillet okay to make this angle this corner we have what we call selected one by one okay now it, it may take times for you to draw like that okay now to to leverage your time there is again uh, the chamfer command with different option okay now you again type it csa enter and then you see here multiple okay this multiple see the mouse pointer uh, down here okay so in command bar i mean okay you can see here multiple you press that multiple one okay then press enter now see you click once here and once here see okay i mean and stream is coming again and again okay so i will click trim yeah now click here click here see you don't have to now uh press enter again and again for doing uh for cutting this angle okay so you just click on one first line and second line like that you can it will get you the required chamfer angle okay the next is again this will also take times you are not happy with that okay let me show you the another most interesting and the fastest method okay of the same 
chamfer command okay again type ch chamfer okay yes this one yeah, my most option is chamfer then next can you see polyline here in the command bar okay this polyline since you have done this with polyline so you can select this polyline to draw all the chamfer corner at once okay this will only work uh, with polyline uh, you know object okay if you draw see with line command sim single single object then it may not work okay so if you were uh, if you have drawn this object with polyline then all uh, your this polyline command will work okay so that you can uh, draw all the four corners at once okay it will save your time so click on polyline all right now just click at any lines see can you see the preview just click at once then all the corners will be all the chamfer will be created at once at one with one click only all right it's very interesting right it's very fast so that's what that's what we have you know uh i mean uh, i have shown you how to use this uh, chamfer command for practical purpose okay so all the possible uh, options of chamfer i have shown you all right polyline distance no need okay whatever distance you need to you need to give you can give one that one angle also no need okay it's 45 angle it will come automatically trim trim also is the same only the streaming method as you can see here this is trim and multiple also i have shown you how to use multiple command okay so this is it for chamfer now the very interesting part is uh, about fillet all right now let us uh, erase this one first now uh, i will tell you the fillet command where uh, where can we use this fillet command all right now as we all know a fillet if you have used earlier it create a round round edges all right it create a uh, curved edges okay at the corner of any objects okay so the first practical example uh, that i will show you with this uh, picture okay see look at this picture this is our stirrup all right so stirrup at the corner end okay at the corner it bends a little bit it is not as sharp edges all right okay and then and another example is a table table okay a round table or you know a dining table and all okay there is a, a, a uh, you know curved edges at the four corner of the table okay most of the table you can see okay so to that to draw that rounded corner and and then there are lots of uh, useful uh, application of these fillets okay so to you know use that one we will domain uh, now i will demonstrate you that uh, commands how to use in your practical field all right okay now uh, you have seen the picture okay this picture and then i have given you the table uh, you know uh, example also now let us draw any rectangle okay of any shape say this is our uh, what we call uh, stirrups okay this is our beam and then okay then let us say this is our cover i mean beam and then this get small gap is our cover and then this inside one is our beam okay this one okay just consider that one like that okay just rough i mean uh, you know drawing okay so you don't have to think about anything about beyond this all right just for our demonstration i'm drawing roughly all right so now you want to make a rounded edge okay so if you want to make a rounded edge you just you know uh, use this fillet command from here fillet or else you can just type f then enter okay now we won't give any radius okay it will ask you to give you uh, the radius for rounded curve all right now we will use the default radius command okay we will use the default radius command given by the autocad 
Now, you, um, uh, and in your drawing, whatever you know radius you need, you can draw accordingly. Okay, but to give the radius, you have to press R since here it is written as R. Okay, from here. So to give radius, you have to give R. Okay. So now you have you can specify the radius that you did. So you need 200, then press just enter. Okay. Now click here, and then click here. Okay. See. Again, press enter click here click here see now this is the same exactly i mean looks like this okay as this is traps okay our drawings look like that now now again you can press enter and then select on the objects press enter select on the objects see okay uh, but it takes them as I have shown you before also. Now there is again multiple command for this also. And then polygon or polyline command for this as well. Okay. Now let us see how we can draw with a multiple line or polyline. Okay. Fillet, radius, radius let us give 200 only. Then you press polyline or multiple. Okay. Multiple as I have shown you in chamfer command you can use. Now I will just show you the polyline command. Okay, just click here once. Voila. You have created the whole curve edge. Okay, at once. So this is the this is the first use of fillet commands. Okay. Now you can put uh you know like uh, what we call the bars here. Okay, for example, I'm just roughly drawing. Don't mind. Don't mind about what i'm doing here okay just a rough idea i mean yeah rough only whatever you say yeah this is our bar this is our stirrup and this is our beam concrete edges okay like that mm -hmm. yeah let us keep here and then okay this is how our beam section okay looks like so this is your one first number practical application of fillets. All right. Now next, next you can use for making a table also. The table. You say this is your table. You want to make this rack, uh, what we call corner. Okay, this corner, not as sharp as this one. You want to make a curve edges. All right. So in that case also you can uh, use fillet command. Press F, then enter, then radius. 200 you can give okay or if you don't give the uh, this will select the default commands okay the default radius i mean okay like this polyline i will select yeah like this okay so this is how you can make if you want to draw a table okay mirror it my laptop is hanging a bit, no problem. Yep. Oh my goodness, it's hanging. Table. Nice. Okay, this is your table leg. Okay, now you can say you can draw roughly like this. Like this. my letter is hanging a little bit okay man for that yeah like this this is how your you know table looks like okay from the top now next is that uh, maybe while drawing uh, a building plan okay or while doing any sectional elevation and then maybe uh, uh, like you know um, any kind of uh, the you know drawings okay now in that case you may also find useful okay very useful this fillet command now let me just uh, show you one last use of this fillet okay say you have drawn a house plan somewhere like this okay and then Mm 
okay something like that okay now in some cases now you want to this opening okay you want to close this one all right now if you want to close how do you do you make a line command okay and then you click here and you make close like this and then you may trim okay these edges okay like that you may trim so it takes a lot of times for you okay so there is uh, uh, this fillet command it comes handy in this you know uh, case okay or maybe you may close like this without using line command also just uh, press and drag it like this to join it one and again you may trim this part okay you may do like that but i will show you now how to use this fillet command to close this you know gaps with only one click okay of fillet so type again f and enter now give radius r press enter now they are asking the radius value it is written 200 here okay you don't have to give 200 you give 0 then enter okay now select this okay uh, it's not selected yeah select this and select this okay downward you have to select okay otherwise if you select you see what happened see okay <laughs> this this part deleted okay like that it and, it, yeah, and th this one and this one they closed each other okay so you have to be very careful okay now i can again let us i know do that command repeat that command radius radius zero enter then click here and then click downward little bit see it has close okay at once no need to draw line comma or and then trims okay so this is how uh, the flat command is used now here let us see again here also we want to close this one okay just type f r 0 enter click here and then click here see okay all right so i hope uh, you understood this one well all right now next again i will show you later this is same almost same as this then just this one we have drawn uh, just now almost same only okay now say it, uh, some it is like this okay now again to close this one just type f r it is zero enter then click here and click here voila it has close the loop all right so this is it okay i hope you have uh, found you know some of the useful tips and tricks from me if you found this uh, helpful then please do share with your friends and then subscribe my channel and whatever you want to know about project okay the side works and then any uh, anything related to uh, autocads and then especially side works okay i can help you in that regards okay so if you have any doubt you can ask me and if you want to know anything related to sites and then other case also i can whatever uh, way i can i will help you okay my battery is low anyways please do subscribe my uh, channel and then share with your friends so that's it jai